The multi-million dollar city center project in La Vista is going up fast. They're close to celebrating the first grand opening, but one of the roads nearby is not something to celebrate, and the city is pretty much stuck. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski explains why. If you've ever driven down South 83rd Avenue, north of Giles, you've probably seen or felt the potholes. Almost every day, the potholes get bigger and bigger. Um, it's kind of a nuisance. The city has rebuilt a portion of 83rd Avenue that's public property, but south of the car wash is a privately owned road. When the strip mall was developed, part of the agreement was that the developer would service the road. It's since been bought and sold a few times, and the road is neglected, to say the least. There's been a time or two that, that uh, because the holes have just been so bad and so dangerous that, you know, we have put in some filler, but we can't come in and do a major reconstruction on it. It's, it's not our road. Casey Jones owns the Vietnamese restaurant in the strip mall. He says loyal customers show up, but others are sometimes turned away because of the chuck holes. Well, I'm definitely hoping with the, all the construction, the roads would definitely get fixed. With everything that's going in that's brand new, I mean, this is kind of an eyesore now. The city says they're contacting the owner about once a month to fix the problem, but they're still stuck in a hole. In May, the property was turned back over to the bank because the previous owners, JSMN International, defaulted on their loan. I tried to find out if the street would be fixed from the grantee, C3 Asset Management of Irving, Texas, but didn't hear back. Mayor Doug Kindig says the city could take it over as a public road someday, but it would like to see the new owner make the infrastructure investment because of the multi-million dollar development just a block away. We hope that that individual understands that those thousands of cars on a daily basis have to go right by his businesses and his properties to get to the new development. So his businesses are going to increase and, and uh, that's good for them. Reporting from La Vista, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. Last night at 10, 